What if water and not carbon is the real key to rapid climate saving? I know it sounds a bit radical, but it might be the most practical shift that we can make right now. And of course, it's not because we focus on water that we have to ignore carbon. No, no, no. But let's focus on water right now. Researcher Alpha Lo challenges the dominant carbon-only narrative. He says if we focus only on emissions but ignore how water moves through the land, we miss half of the story. Because when rain hits bare soil, it runs off, and when it hits healthy covered soil, it soaks in feeds groundwater and eventually becomes part of the local water cycle. Because the bigger the water storage is, the more water you have in the soil, the better that the trees can suck it up and can cool the climate, can create rain. So we need slowing, spreading and sinking of water because it keeps the ecosystem hydrated and it will stabilize temperatures. It's like a human being, if you sweat, the sweat creation actually removes heat from the air and from your body, that's why you cool down, and it propels it into the atmosphere, letting the warmth loose high up in the atmosphere so you literally cooled down the climate. That's climate regulation, you can see, and it happens fast. This is the theory stuck in academia, it's happening in places like California, Kenya, Spain, where water retention projects are restoring entire landscapes. So start where you are, plant a tree, mulch your garden, catch rainwater, or support a water retention project in a region that's drying out. Because when we work with water, we heal the climate from the ground up.